What are you doing? Friday or whatever day you guys cat happen to catch this video. Um, it's the end of March. It's crazy to think. Feed Rocky real quick and uh, go out there. Jason and I are going to um, be selling the wean calves from last spring. Those weanling calves, yearling, well, the other yearling calves from uh, the spring of last year. So I think there's 10, 11 out of that group because we're selling them all except for, I think, two that are um, out of registered stock that are heifers that we're going to keep back for our own purposes. And then, um, yeah, I think we might keep one back to uh, feed out and butcher too. So he's got them in, the, in there and I'm going to finish milking these babies real quick. And then I'll help him load, and then I'll go over to the farm and do my chores there. And then we'll clean up, and Boo and I will uh, get in the pickup, and we'll run down the same line. Snickers, are you waiting for uh, the drips of milk that I spill? Mm, are you waiting for the drips of milk? So these bottle calves at home, there's two of them, and uh, they get two bottles, which is one gallon of milk in the morning and then they get two bottles at night. And then the babies at the farm, which is like Teddy and Bex, they get just the two bottles in the morning. And of course they're eating silage and hay. These guys are started on some sweet feed grain. I, they don't know it yet, but they're gonna have to be weaned, at least for the most part, for milk in at least a month because of hay season coming. I don't mind feeding bottles in the morning, but it's gonna get real kind of hectic real quick I have a feeling with everything there are different obviously ways and procedures everybody does things different with their bottle calves I kind of have a rule of thumb that if they're on mom for four months they probably should be drinking milk for at least two to three is it expensive sure but do I want the calves to thrive absolutely so I probably overfeed them milk but uh, these are calves that were out of our own herd. I'm not buying calves. I'm obviously not going to be selling these calves. So, and one of them is a heifer. So I definitely want to be able to put her back in because she's registered stock. And then, um, yeah. So everybody has a different way to do things. This is just how we do it here or well, how I do it with the bottle babies. So that's where we're at. Ryder is patiently waiting for me to finish up my chores in the barn. Boo. And there's storms coming in there. Why are you so close? <laughs> you giving everybody else kisses too, huh? Aren't they just the cutest? I know you guys wanted to name them. And uh, actually Jalen ended up naming them Donald and Daisy. Because she's going to show Daisy at 4-H this year. And she's registered, so... Mom's gotta get all that done. So we do have registered stock and commercial stock, um, that F1 cross. Um, this little guy is actually from a friend's, so I'm just just running a nursery. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, yeah. I really should get one of those mounts that like wrap around stuff. Maybe I need to look at that. So that way I can do more stuff and not have to hold the camera so much. I do have a tripod that I found. Um, it was buried in the pickup, imagine that. So I'm gonna be obviously using that. Um, I wanna fly the drone a lot this hay season. I just wanna improve our videos. Um, I wanna make you guys watching the videos um, more engaged and I don't know. I really, I really just enjoy sharing our story and uh, what we do here, so. Can you see the babies? Aren't they just the cutest? Oh. Two 
yellow tags, this one right here is gonna stay. And then there's one more that's gonna stay back. And then we're gonna get, get rid of the rest. The chicken is eating the silage. Right or no? Come here. You got quite a bit here. Do you, hey, hey. Nope. Do you want to pin some of these up or not? No, pumpkin. That one stays. Okay, you wanna pin those up too now in the front? Oh, that's two more. keeping back these two heifers well actually all three of them are heifers um but those first two bigger ones are purebreds so that's why they'll have plenty to eat this next few days Please be safe. We're gonna finish feeding this one bottle calf and then um, go make more, some, some more milk. Come here. Daisy just takes a little bit longer. She was out on her mom, but her mama just wasn't giving us the milk production, unfortunately. What, Donald? The other day when we were loading out some hay, um, we had some bales bust on us. Probably the baler's fault, AKA me. Um, I probably just didn't have them set right or I don't know what happened. I wasn't down here. Anyway, I've got a bunch of broken bales and I use these hay chicks nets to uh, scavenge all this up so that I don't waste hay because it's premium quality. I wish you guys could still smell it. Look how pretty it is. Anyway. Let's, let's get this done. Actually, I think there's some broken bales in the other barn too, so. Probably not today. Rocky still had hay in his net, so he'll be okay until I get back later. I'm not planning on being gone all day, just because i got some other stuff I need to get done. I've been revamping my website. I'm so excited. We're so close to relaunching that. Just 
different avenues that we're doing. Um, I'm not going to do any more shirt merch. I got a ton of it sitting in the basement as it is. So, whatever's on sale, the O-Stuck shirt and tank, the OCB cow tank, the Balin tank, what I have listed is all we're going to have. And we are so close to hitting 20,000, you guys. It just blows my mind that you guys want to tag along with us like that. Like, it, it just, some of you guys are from the very beginning, the first, like, hundred, first thousand, first five thousand. You guys just mean so much to me. Thank you. Can you see my heart? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> okay. So, I'm gathering, um, feed. This is what we have been feeding those calves in the arena and our bulls. Um, it's just a little bit extra protein for them. I'm taking some horse feed over for Shiloh and Leo. It's the impact performance. Um, this is just what I prefer to feed. I do have a pallet of wind and rain that I need. It's a high mag that really we should have probably started feeding in like February, but I didn't have it. And I'm also taking over this uh, tub, this equine um, clarified tub for Shiloh and Leo as well. It's a mineral tub, but it also has the fly control, same stuff as our wind and rain mineral. So take that over because fly control needs to start now. All sorts of tipping today. Um, also, here's the deal. For um, mineral to take effect, you really need to feed it prior to needing it. So like if you um, are wanting to feed wind and rain, that is the fly control, you need to feed it two months before the flies show up. So don't start feeding it in June, July. Start feeding it, you know, like April. First part of May. So this is Captain Keaton's little show steer. Hi, buddy. I gotta get him some silage. He's got plenty of water for the day. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. So, yeah, okay. Just all kinds of stuff need to get done. It's always something. This Purina tub was a mineral tub or a lick tub of some sort. Um, it's got a crack in it so it doesn't hold water anymore, but it makes for perfect feeding. So I'm going to clean it out and take it over with me. We have to be resourceful farmers around here. Use what you can. All right, bud, I'll come back and get you some, uh, some silage. I remembered to take them in, so I'm back home and uh, going to make another batch and we'll head over to the farm. That sun though. I wish it would stick around. But we need the rain because it makes my grass grow. Team's gonna have to mow soon. I feel like the only time I have you in the kitchen is to make milk. Um, I do cook for my family. No, it's hard to believe. Um, I enjoy cooking. I just don't usually share that side of it. Um, definitely just because I'm more at ease in a tractor than I am with a spatula. <laughs> so, gonna wait for this milk to warm up and, or the water to warm up to make the milk, and then we'll head to the farm. I gotta get a bucket of silage for Teddy and them. Our silage pit is starting to dwindle down. But boy, does it smell good. It's almost to the end. We'll probably have enough to feed the rest of April, I would say. Especially since we're getting rid of those wean calves. It's so pretty over here, guys. The grass is really starting to uh, green up and everything. And you can definitely tell that spring might actually be here. Oh, yesterday we took, saw some footage 
um, for a magazine article that I had wrote. I'm so excited. Like you guys don't know how excited I, I am about getting some of my publications out. Um, the blog has kind of been on the back burner just because we were revamping it. We took it down for a little while. So um, I haven't been really posting to it lately at all. But obviously I still write. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you definitely know I'm still writing almost every day. Sometimes multiple times a day, depending on what we're doing and just where we're at and different things. So my goal has always been and for always will be if I can touch one person's life along the way, whether it be here or, or somebody reading a post or seeing a picture or just something, I just want to encourage you guys to live your life. You know, life is too short as it is and it gets shorter the older we get and we realize, you know, what once made us happy may not make us happy now and just learning, learning to find that joy and finding the happiness. I was very blessed to be able to do what I've always dreamed of doing. Farming, having cattle, being an tractor, raising our kids on open pastures, you know, I, I'm a lucky one and I get to share that all with you guys. So that's that's my little happiness joy for the day. Hope you guys are ready for hay season because I am so ready. I'm so ready. I'm ready to be hot and sweaty and well, that's not very nice, but I'm ready to have hot weather and just be able to be outside green again. All the calves are out. I see them. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're not where you're supposed to be. I got calves coming over to see Bex and Teddy, so I'm probably gonna turn them out and just see what they do. Hi, babies. Hi. Okay, but first we're gonna make, have them drink, and then I'm gonna turn them out. The worst thing they're gonna do is come right back to the barn. And they probably will. I may just start, just open their gate up and they, they can kind of come and go. Because it would be fantastic if I could get them off. Off me. So I'm gonna open their gate and just turn them out. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, all the calves are up there nosing who they are anyway, so. We'll just pin them up at night if we can, and if we can't, they'll just be wandering with the herd. I do separate Shiloh and Leo to eat, because otherwise she gets a little bit crabby. Okay, go find your friends. They all ran away because I scared them with the gate. Go. Go. Come on. Let's go find your friends. Come on. Let's go find some friends. Is that right? <laughs> Come on, Bex. Come find some friends. Leo. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put this actually, I'm gonna just scoot it this way. Okay, so this is a fly lick tub. Um, it's really great for those that are on pasture or they're not getting a whole lot of grain. And they, these kids here will be on pasture rotation once the grass starts really growing. I just don't want them to eat it down too fast while I need it for the cows. So they're just getting hay, a handful of grain um, every day or every other day. But you really wanna start implementing this fly control now, whether it's for your cows or for your horses to go on and get it in their bloodstream. I'm pretty sure that's Teddy. Teddy! What are you doing? Hi. Did you come back? Did you decide you didn't want to be out with your friends? <laughs> okay, finally done chewing. Um, I ended up, Teddy and Bex came back and was trying to get back in their pen. So I just, they wanted in there. So I just closed them back up. Um, each day I'll just try to reintroduce them into the herd and uh, hopefully in the next 30 days, they'll be completely off milk and they can be with the herd and uh, one thing off my plate. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm actually kind of sweaty. I'm already hot. It's probably because I was running around. And the fact it's 62 degrees. All right, back to the next thing and then I'll go to uh, the sale barn here in a little bit. Jason went ahead and made me up another batch last night, so I don't, I'm not even mixing. I'm just getting in the tractor and going. And praying they don't get caught in the storm. No, hey, you can run. You want to bet the radio? This guy, come on. Oh, it's off for once. It's really starting to green up, and it was just starting to dry out from the last time we had rain. I thought I told you you could run. I get out to get a gate, and he gets in. So I am gonna cut across this, uh, what we call the winter paddock, clearly. It's mudded up, it's not in the best shape. Um, we are going to work the ground and reseed it, but I don't want the cows getting out on me um, in these grass paddocks. So what I'm gonna do is, if they come in here, they're not gonna wanna stay in here because it's essentially dirt. Half the nincompoop babies are out anyway. But we're gonna move them actually down um, to a different paddock so they have a little bit more wind break, hopefully, essentially, and go from there. I do still have four to cab out here. Come on, babies. Fighter, can you move? Fighter, come on. Move. I'm just kind of doing a quick glaze. Come on. I don't know if you guys can see them all running around behind me. I didn't have time to go home and get the other camera to stick out because that would have been good shots, but
grouse fed and moved and mineral moved before it cut loose. We'll see if I can go finish the rest of everything. We'll see. And it may blow right on past us because it's Missouri. You just, you just never know. Just, just never know. All right, let's go take care of the cattle barn area. Feed my ponies. Check on babies. I ended up, they ended up going back in before I left earlier, so they put themselves away, so I just shut the gate on them. So, we'll run back there real quick, give them some silage, and then run to the house, grab the kiddos, they should be getting off the bus soon, and then um, make some milk and do the chores at the farm, or at the shop, I am at the farm, at the shop, and then call it an evening. Watch the storms roll in. Fix some dinner, you know, the normal day-to-day -day life. Ah, if you guys like today's video, please make sure you guys thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. You guys know the drill by now. So thanks for being a part of it and uh, we'll finish up.